So today what I want to talk to you about is going to be, uh, again, one of my four membership groups. I have four, the Napkin Club, the Fabric Fan Club, the Faith Drilling Experience, and the Page Builders Clubhouse. That's the one we're going to talk about today, the Page Builders Clubhouse. So I have, let me pop this up on my screen here really quickly. I have a fun um, paper craft that we're going to be doing today. And it's actually more than a paper craft. It is a quilted paper project. Okay. I think you're really going to like it. And we're going to turn this into an awesome layout. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the Page Builders Clubhouse. Anybody out there right now watching that is a scrapbooker, a memory keeper. I am a memory keeper. I have my, my Page Builders Clubhouse t-shirt on right now. It says proud memory keeper. <laughs> I love to take pictures. I love to uh, preserve my memories. I love to do all of those things. Um, and by preserving these memories, I put my photos and my stories, my journaling, all that stuff onto layouts and then put those layouts into albums. And that's essentially what scrapbooking is. It is for us that love to be preserving our memories, right? So if anybody out there is a scrapbooker or was a scrapbooker, I'm hoping to um, continue to inspire the scrapbookers that are out there. Also, some of you that maybe did for a while and have left, I'm going to I'm hopefully going to inspire you to come back. Scrapbooking does not have to be overwhelming. All right. Life is overwhelming enough. Life is stressful, stressful enough. Scrapbooking shouldn't be. <laughs> so here is why the Page Builders Clubhouse was born. I pretty much every, every week we do some little mini series. Sometimes we're about to have September's going to be a fall mini series where we're doing it. We're creating some layouts that are going to be, be perfect for the pictures we're going to be taking in the fall. Um, and then we're going to have a larger series, which I'm going to tell you about that here in a little bit. Um, that's going a longer series that's going to happen in October, November. So we'll talk about that in a moment. So in the page builders clubhouse, Every time I make a layout, every time I make a layout, I make something called a page builder guide. Okay. I make a page builder guide and it lists all of the cutting dimensions, quick, easy instructions, how many patterned papers you're going to need, how many pieces of cardstock you're going to need. And we are focused on using our stash using our stash. So the beauty about these page builder guides, I also design printables for my page builders clubhouse members, <laughs> which you're going to get, you're going to get a couple, you're going to get this. Um, and uh, um, we'll be sharing that over in the create and connect uh, Facebook group. Okay. So every layout that I make has a page builder guide associated to it. So that, and um, it's usually two pages. And then I give you some really nice pictures of the details on that page. The beauty of it is that anybody can take this page builder guide, use their own papers, their own theme and create this layout. So even though I made this layout, I'm going to show this layout to you here. I'm going to kind of switch my camera screen around here so that you can see my full table. So this is the layout, right? It says every photo tells a story. Love these moments. I have all these places where I can put my photos, right? Um, and someone can take this. Like I'm going to say, let's see, who do I want to talk to? I'm going to say Darla. Darla, I just saw your name, Darla Wendy. <laughs> so Darla could actually take this page builder guide. Maybe Darla just got back from a Disney vacation. She could create this layout in Disney themed papers right? Maybe somebody out there just had a new grandbaby. You could create this layout for your new grandbaby and baby girl or baby boy um, uh, papers, right? Does that make sense to you? So it really is a lot of fun. Sometimes I'll even give uh, out these, these uh, color combos. And this is to help you shop your stash. So if I do give you a printable that we can use on a layout, then I always give you a color combo because this way it makes it easy to go shop your stash for the colors 
patterned papers with those colors, cardstock with those colors that coordinate with the printable. Okay, so it's really, really a lot of fun. I want to just show you a few things and then we're going to make a paper, a quilted paper project today. It's going to be um, a, a 12 by 12. So it is something that you could use as um, a layout. And then I'll tell you what's going to come along after that. So take a look at this layout right here. I do have a really good example here for you. If you'll look at it, you see it has the little tag here, has the little camera, and it has the little banner here. I want to show you a similar layout that was made for a baby boy. And let's just kind of compare. All right. You can see here, 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 here's my tag. Here's here, here's here. Instead of the banner, I have this cute little banner here with baby clothes. <laughs> okay. And then let's look at page two. Okay. Same kind of thing. Do you see the similarities? Oh, start the giveaway. Thank you. All right. They just posted a note. I need to start the giveaway. I forgot to do that. <laughs> But you see the similarities. So this is where it's so much fun because you can take these page builder guides and then you can create the layouts that you really need for the photos that you're scrapbooking. OK, so I have forgotten. Thank you. I have some page builder members, page builder clubhouse members watching right now. Um, hello, everyone. I'm so excited to see y'all here. I'm going to start our giveaway. I'm giving away two prizes today live at the end of this session. So let me come in here. See, I get so excited. Sometimes I just forget to start collecting the comments. All right. It is collecting the comments right now. So when you play, make a comment, it's going to put you into our live drawing. So at the end of our session today, we're going to have a live drawing. All right. We're going to have a live drawing and two lucky winners are going to go home with some fun prizes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you team for reminding me. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. I want to show you a few of my layouts here just to show you that we do get kind of creative. We get kind of, kind of fun. We have a lot of fun. We get creative with um, certain layouts uh, uh, in our membership. And this one I want to show you because some of you out there are in my napkin club or you you're very interested in joining the napkin club. I want to show you this is a trip that we took uh, took with some friends to the uh, a lavender farm. And so you can see I have a picture. This is the Lavender Ridge Farms. Here's a picture of us, a, a cute selfie. Well, I didn't have any paper that had anything to do with lavender or any of that, but I had napkins. So I want to show you this right here. You guys, this is a napkin. And if you watched session number one yesterday with the iron on method, and we talked about making our own decorative paper with napkins, that's exactly what I did here. I put this lavender napkin on my cardstock, which is the uh, base page of my layout here. I even did these little bees. These little bees are also from a napkin. This is a napkin. <laughs> Here's the second page again, more napkin, napkin, dragonflies, a napkin, and more of my lavender here uh, is a napkin. So yes, napkins can be used in your scrapbooking. I also love to get creative with my photos. We do, uh, we talk a lot about making collage photos um, to help us get more pictures onto a layout. Okay. So wanted to show you that one here. I'll just start dropping them here and just going to show you a couple more. This is one that features a printable. This was so much fun because the printable had like the stocking, the tree, the plate, um, the little more sprinkles, please, memories. And again, you'll see sometimes I create these little uh, collage photos um, to get more pictures on my layouts. But this one was really fun to do and it features a printable. Okay. Aren't those cute? That was Christmas cookie making last, um, last Christmas. <laughs> Now, sometimes our, our scrapbook layouts are about finding unique ways to tell our story. 
Um, this layout is says, but first coffee. And it's about when my daughter would come home from college. And the first thing we would do is go get coffee so we could talk and catch up on everything that was going on with her. And so sometimes it's 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 fun to actually print out your journaling if you have a lot to say. I have kind of big handwriting, so I like to print out my journaling sometimes. I just screen grabbed some pictures from a Starbucks. <laughs> and then using our, you know, some of the stuff around us in unique ways. Here's my little coffee stir stick. Here is my actual little coffee sleeve that was, you know, from Starbucks. So it's just a fun, we do some fun ways, try to inspire you on how to, you know, use some interesting things um, that help to kind of bring your, your memories alive, kind of ephemera, memorabilia, things like that. Now, this layout was super, super fun to do because sometimes I'll show you fun folding techniques in the Page Builders Clubhouse. <laughs> And this is my folded paper tree. Now, instead of using this as a Christmas tree, I use these winter papers and it was great for my, my daughter and son-in-law's uh, ski trip pictures. And so you can see how that turned out so cute. There's another little one over here. And notice that I printed my photos in black and white. Yes, sometimes that looks really good on a layout too. Okay, so scrapbooking is just something that's just so, so fun for me. Whoops, I just dropped something, but that's okay. Let me show you something else here. Uh, this is the last one I'll show you. This one, I actually just created a collage. These are my grandkids at my dad's farm. <laughs> and so I just kind of created this circle outline and then just filled in, just collaged in all the individual pictures within the circle really cute and then here is our companion page i even put a stick from the farm in there <laughs> adventurous getaway all right so lots of fun things that we do in the little clubhouse and we're going to do a paper craft today all right you ready okay we're going to do a paper craft today. Now I'm also going to be giving away a few things and that's the things that just fell. <laughs> so yeah, it's live, you know, things happen. Let me grab them really quick. Okay. Sorry. I had them stacked on my trash can and yeah, gravity took over and they went falling. So one thing I want to tell you before we get started here is that the Page Builders Clubhouse is, is meant to take the overwhelm out of scrapbooking. We are overwhelmed by the amount of pictures we take. We're overwhelmed by the amount of supplies that we have. And I try to help you in that, that uh, uh, in this group to just take away the overwhelm make it fun again. And it can be fun again. We're having a great time. Everyone is creating such awesome, wonderful layouts in that group. And uh, when you sign up, because the doors are open right now, we're about to start a little mini series in September. Um, and then in October and November, we're starting another series called It's All Relative. It's all going to be themed family, all just really have some fun things planned for us for that. September will be a mini series, which is going to be a fall, be different types of fall layouts that we'll be creating. And then October, November, it's all relative and it's all going to be family themed. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to share more with you about that. So if you do decide to sign up for the Page Builders Clubhouse and you want to try it out for a month, you're welcome to do that. There's no cancellation fee or contract. You can always come in and check it out. You're, uh, you're going to have access to everything we do going forward. Plus, you're going to have access to some of the stuff we've done in the past in, in that group, different workshops, tutorials, page builder guides, printables, all the fun things. Okay. So uh, Susan Lyles, one of our team members has made up these awesome prize bundles. So every little prize bundle kind of has different items in it, along with a couple of our postcards, right? And so, so just some really fun things in these. So if you do sign up, that's going to be your welcome gift. You're going to get a little welcome gift from us. 
um, with this little prize bundle papers, a few embellishments, some little fibers, some ribbons, just some, some different odds and ends of things. She's just done a really great job putting these together. So um, yes, our doors are open. I just want to make sure everyone knows that. And um, let's talk now a little bit about what we're going to actually do today. Okay. How many of you are just paper crafters? I think paper crafters transition into scrapbooking so easily because we all have the same love of paper. We love paper. You guys, these are the papers I'm going to be using today because I'm going to share a quilted paper layout with you. Now, this is going to be really super cute. It's going to be a 12 by 12. So if you're not a scrapbooker, but you want to learn this technique and you want to make this, this could be something cute you could even put into a 12 by 12 frame after you put photos on it or embellish it. Now, for those of you that are scrapbookers, here's what's going to happen. We're going to make this page, okay? Our 12 by 12 um, quilted paper layout, okay? Sorry, my mouth is getting dry from talking so much. And then in our next session which I'll give you a heads up when that's going to be in our next session where we feature the Page Builders Clubhouse, I'm going to actually have a printable for you. And we're going to have that printable. Don't worry, you're going to get a page builder guide for this also. Okay. We're going to make a companion page and we're going to decorate this with the printable. I want you to see the process from start to finish, how we work with the printables and the color combos and how we use the different elements. Um, and I think you're really going to like this technique. Okay. You guys ready to try it out? All right. We're going to get started. Now I have all of my paper pieces here. I'm not going to go over measurements with you now because that will be in the page builder guide that we will be sharing with you. We will post that page builder guide in the, um, um, create and connect Facebook group as soon as our second session is over because I want to make the second page and we'll put all of that in there together. Okay, so everybody will have a guide that's watching um, to be able to recreate this. So for right now, I just want you to watch. It's a really fun technique and I think you're really going to like it. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> Yes, it's going to be so much fun. All right, so I am using, um, I'm going to use this brown cardstock as my base page. And because I'm doing a page builder guide for you for this, it's really going to be fun because those of you that recreate this, you're going to be able to do it in your own papers, whatever colors you want to use, whatever theme of papers you want to use. I'm kind of going fall with this one. I think you can see the pumpkins here. There's some cute little leaves on this. So I'm going fall with this one, but you could go any direction, any theme that you want. Okay. All right. So let's get started. I'm actually going to move this base page out of the way for a moment. All right. Now, when I'm paper crafting and scrapbooking, I actually do not use a tape runner. And I get questioned about this a lot, but I don't use a tape runner. I actually really like to use uh, my Scotch tacky glue. It is a fast grab glue, comes in a couple different sizes here. I love this glue, you guys, and you'll learn um, I, you don't need a lot. It is super strong. I've kind of gotten tired of going back to some of my layouts and realizing that things have fallen off of them. And I know partly I'm to blame for that because when with my layouts, I don't always put them into a page protector and into an album right away. The longer they're, those tape runners and things like that are exposed to air, they start to dry out. So I actually love to use my Scotch Tacky Glue for this. All right. I also am an inker. <laughs> <laughs> I love to ink uh, the edges of my pages. And so I love to use our chalk inks that we carry here for that. They are great for paper. If you're a paper crafter, card maker, um, napkin art. I mean, I use these for everything. I use them in my Bible journaling, all of it. I love chalk inks. And so these are awesome. So I'm going to be using these as well today. So I've already kind of cut my paper pieces somewhat into what I need them to be. And I'm going to start with this cute pumpkin paper 
So, so cute. I'm so glad you guys are watching. Um, Darla, you got the glue. Okay, I want you to try it out. Just remember, you don't need much, just a thin line. You don't need a lot. Um, and it just, it's, it just, everything stays so perfectly. It's really nice. Okay, so um, the papers I'm using today are actually from Echo Park. Echo Park Sweater Weather, Sweater Weather. Now, while I'm creating this today, I'm also going to talk to you about something really fun. We're going to be having a live event, a live scrapbooking event coming up in October. October, the first weekend in October, the third, fourth, and fifth. And we still have seats available for this event. It's going to be awesome, awesome, awesome workshops, two full workshop days. We're going to have four different sessions. You're going to walk away with about 10 different layouts, lots of different techniques. You're going to learn so much. We're even going to have an open uh, crop and shop time on that Friday night. We've got so many fun things planned for it. So if anyone's interested that likes to come to in-person events, it's going to happen right here in my hometown. Uh, it, right here in my own backyard, just about 20 minutes from the shop in North Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. So if you'd like more information about that, um, my team will post a link for you here um, to get information about the Memory Keeping Matters live scrapbooking event. Super excited about it. Okay. So I'm going to switch my camera here, my camera screen, so that you guys can see my full table. I want to make sure that you can see this. So I'm starting with this piece of paper, which by the way, is not 12 by 12. Um, we're going to put this on a 12 by 12 page here shortly. But the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to ink the edges of this paper. And because this is a, a quilted paper technique, okay, quilted paper technique, um, I'm going to ink everything in one color. I want everything to kind of be unified in a way, kind of unified in one color. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of this one too, even though we're going to be cutting this down. So I'm kind of a messy inker. I'm a heavy inker. Um, I just love how it looks on the edges of paper. You can kind of see that kind of right, right along here. See that kind of inked edge. I just think it looks so good. All right. So we're going to start with these two pieces. And again, I will give you all of these measurements in a page builder guide that will be saved for you over in um, our Create and Connect Facebook group. So if you've not registered yet, make sure that you do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually layering this piece of paper on top of this piece of paper. Okay. So where I'm going to start is just kind of right in the middle. Just, I'm just going to put kind of a little X of glue here, a little square, not much because I want to make sure that we get this even. So I'm looking at the triangles, right? I'm looking at the triangles and I want to be sure that these triangles are about the same distance. Now you could use a ruler for this. If you want to kind of measure this out, then obviously you can. Two and a half. And da, da, da. okay, this one is way longer, so we're gonna lift this up again. I like that for the use of our 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 glue because then we can easily kind of move things around. All right, and I'm kind of an eyeballer, so I'm just gonna pop this down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and smooth this down. Now that that part is in place, I'm going to come in and I'm going to put some glue kind of right here on these edges and a little bit right here. Okay, we're going to stick that down and I'm just going to do this on every edge. Actually, really, you just have to do this edge. But if you want to measure it all out to make sure it's exact, um, you can. Okay, so now that this, these are all down, I'm going to turn this over. 
Okay, now this is double-sided paper, and yes, this paper has all these cute cards on it, um, but I actually have two sheets of this paper, <laughs> and I do that sometimes. Uh, I'll get two sheets of papers that have uh, journaling cards on the back because I want to use both sides. <laughs> so I'm just cutting this down, cutting off these scrap pieces. Do, do, do. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay. This is where we're starting. And I'll move those little corners out of the way. Okay. Um, I'm using Scotch No Run Tacky Glue. It's just a clear glue. It is awesome. We have it in a couple different sizes. And I just, I love it so much. Now, where we cut off the paper, I'm going to ink right? Because again, I want everything inked and I'm using brown. This color I'm using is called, um, I always want to say chocolate milkshake, but it's chocolate malt. <laughs> chocolate malt. It's one of my favorite favorites. And actually our winner is going to win one of these today. Um, in fact, our winners today are going to get three chalk inks and a bottle of stickles. <laughs> That's what we're going to be giving away today here in just a little bit. Okay, so I want to make sure my pumpkins are, are going the right direction here. And now I'm going to mount this onto my 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. We're going to have a nice little framework here. How many of you have ever done that? Have you bought two sheets of paper because you knew you were going to want to use both sides? <laughs> yep. I think scrapbook companies do that on purpose. They, they put the cutest papers together on one sheet back in front, and then you're, you're forced to have to buy two, two pieces of paper. All right. So see how that's going to fit right within that frame. This is where we're starting. Doesn't that look great? Yes. Um, I believe, hi, Leslie. I see Leslie is on here watching. That's awesome. She's our event coordinator for Memory Keeping Matters. And um, yes, we already talked about it, Leslie, and I'm hoping that you guys will, if you're a scrapbooker, or you have friends that would make a great kind of girlfriend getaway, we can have a great, great time to, together. So next up, I'm going to use this pretty gold. I'm using these beautiful colors that are kind of um, within these colors of my pumpkins. It's going to turn out so pretty. So again, inking all the edges. And then this piece is going to go down kind of right here in the center. Okay. You could even, um, those of you that are card makers, you could even um, kind of shrink all this down. Once I give you the, the measurements, maybe you could minimize everything down. This could be a fun uh, card front. Okay, so my corners should touch every edge. Move this over just slightly. There we go. Okay, the other thing about using this glue with your scrapbooking is, oh my gosh, it is such a budget saver because before when I was using tape runners, I was going through those little tape runner refills like crazy. And, um, I, you know, you can get a ton of layouts done with, with um, a glue bottle and not have to worry about all those uh, refills. <laughs> okay, so here we go. The next thing I have are these little squares. Okay, these little squares. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to kind of push this up a little bit. What we're going to do is take all of these squares. Now, this is already brown, so I'm not going to ink these. But I've cut some other pattern papers to go inside of these squares. So that's what I'm going to do next is just ink these edges. And then we're going to glue them uh, in the center of these little squares. So as I mentioned, today we're just doing the paper quilted part because this is a little involved. And then the next time we meet, which if you want to know, I'm going to just quietly tell you, okay? 
The next time we're going to, when we're going to finish out this layout is going to be on Friday at 2 p.m. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. Friday at 2 p.m. So if you're intrigued and you want to learn more about the Page Builders Clubhouse and you want to see how this all comes together and you want to see the printable that I've made for you, all of those things, it's going to happen then. Super cute. Okay. Where exactly is the October event going to be held, Janet? It's going to be held at the Marriott on Champion Circle, not far, kind of right over near the Speedway. Okay. That's where it's going to happen. Just, just uh, right up the road, right up 35 from where we are right now. All right. So now I'm just going to center these onto my cardstock squares. Um, the printables and the page builder guides do are digital. They are all digital. So I don't actually send you anything um, for the Page Builders Clubhouse as far as physically mailing things out um, because everything is a, a download. So you'll be able to download the page builder guides, the color combos, and the printables. Um, and that way you can print them out um, if you choose to. Some people like to just save the page builder guides on their devices. Um, and of course you would want to print out the printables. And usually on my printables, I print them out on white 65 pound cardstock, just like we used in session one um, for the notepad covers. <laughs> No, Janet, it's not far from Denton at all. Just down the road. Talk to your scrapbooking buddies and come join us. We'd love that. Um, Frisco is, I would say, how far is Frisco from here? Depending on the time of day, I'd say probably half hour. A half hour. So, Tiffany, no, it's not far. All right. Yes, there we have a, the hotel uh, right there. Most people are taking advantage of the hotel and staying because we are going to have a late night crop. And um, really, it's just we have a special room block. So there's a special rate for anyone that's coming. Um, yes, I would love for you guys to come. So let me show you this. We have four of this print. And we have four of this print. Okay. I know. Wouldn't it be pretty for, for a card? And uh, now we're going to make this kind of, again, we're, it's a, I want you to think of it as quilted paper. Okay. Um, any quilters out there? Okay. If you are a quilter out there, you, you, you may recognize um, the pattern. I don't know. <laughs> This is my version of it, so it could be different um, um, from a true quilter's pattern, but it is going to look pretty cool when we get this finished. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to take these little squares right here and these red ones with this cute, I love that plaid. Isn't that cute? That kind of, this kind of check plaid, deep red. Oh, that looks so cute. This is where these pieces are going to go. They're going to go right into the corners of our gold. Whoops, put my lid on. So, yes, if you have more questions about the event, we definitely will get that information to you. The girls are posting links, um, Susan and Rhonda, in each group that I'm going live in right now. And then if you have questions, definitely email us. We can, we'll be happy to help you out. Info at MissTracyCreates.com. It would be great if you want to come join us. So 
so just to show you what kind of glue I'm putting on, very thin. I drag the tip so it's very, very thin. And it's just, like I said, it's super strong. So this is where these squares are going to go. Oops, I forgot I had one more here. And just out of curiosity, how many of you, how many of you do scrapbook or, you know, did you leave scrapbooking, right? Some people have left scrapbooking um, because it just got to be so overwhelming and I totally get it. I totally get it. Um, and that is why the Page Builders Clubhouse was born, really, to take the overwhelm out of scrapbooking. And it really has. Um, if you're in the group right now, if there's something you want to share, like your favorite thing about being in the group, um, definitely, we'd love to, for you to share those comments in here. That would be awesome. I just, my family loves looking back at our pictures. I love looking back at them and for me, you guys, honestly, a photo is like a, I say it a lot, but a photo is like a one-way ticket to a memory. It just takes me right back. And um, I, I just love it. I love scrapbooking, memory keeping. All right, we're going to work on this now. These are our squares that have the little leaves on them. And so watch what's going to happen here. I'm going to bring this one. I'm going to put it on kind of the diamond shape here. And it's going to go right here. Now, the tip of this, the tip, the very tip here, I'm going to have to hold this up so that you can see. I want you to see that the very tip of that, see that little pointy tip right there, is going to be off of your paper. We want the white part, the leaf, the pattern paper, the white part is the part we want to kind of line up with the edge. So after we get that on, then we're just going to snip that off. Okay, so it's actually the white part that we want kind of lined up with this edge of our cardstock. It's, this is going to look so complicated, but it's actually quite easy. It's quite easy to put together. And because we have matted these out, like we have, have matted them with the brown cardstock, it's going to look very quilted. <laughs> Isn't it cool? So this is going to be page one of a page two layout. I'm a two page girl. I usually uh, scrapbook double layouts. And make sure that those kind of go and we're going to snip that part off. And again, does this have to be exactly perfect? No, nothing I ever do has to be exactly perfect. So that's why I'm saying if you're a quilter, you know, you're going to have to give me a little grace here. So cute. Look at it, guys. Isn't it fun? Oops. Okay. You guys, this is our quilted paper layout. Look how cute this is. Look at it. Isn't it cute? See how by matting it with the brown, it outlines, and we wind up with this star pattern kind of right here in the center. This is going to look amazing. You guys are going to love it. I can't wait. Now we're going to do a simpler companion page. This is kind of like a feature, right? This is a pretty big feature page. We're going to do a simpler companion page. And then that is what will happen tomorrow in the two o'clock session. Shh. <laughs> I usually keep it a surprise, but I just want y'all to know, especially if you're interested in learning more about the Page Builders Clubhouse. <laughs> We're going to do a companion page to go with this one. It's going to be much simpler. 
And then I have designed a printable for us to use. Now my printable is going to be kind of fall themed. Okay. So if you want to start kind of looking through your papers now and you want to choose maybe some fall papers, I'm doing this because um, our next, our upcoming mini series is all about fall. Let me make my face big here again. It's all about fall. Okay. And so in September, we're celebrating fall. So it's, we're going to be making creative layouts, things that you could use for either your past photos um, your, or your present photos, or maybe even for the future. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but we're, it's going to be a really fun little mini session. It would be a great time to come in, try it out, see if you like it, see if it's a, if we're a good fit for you as a memory keeper, as a scrapbooker, as someone who wants to preserve those photos and your memories for your families. And then um, in October, October and November, it's going to be a two month series called It's All Relative and it will be family themed layouts. And I mean the entire family um, from the cousin crew to the fur babies, which are part of our family, like all of the things we are going to have such a good time in that it's all relative. So we're kicking off those September with the fall mini series. I think this would be a great opportunity for you to come in for a month, try it out, see if it's a good fit. If it is, just continue on with us. Then in December, we're going to have another mini series for Christmas layouts. Okay. And then I have some fun things planned for us in 2025. <laughs> always thinking ahead, right? So I think you guys will really love this layout. And again, imagine you could do it in all different um, patterns of paper, colors of paper, but keep in mind, my printable is going to be fall. So it's going to kind of fall within this color scheme. Um, and, you know, I think, I think you guys are really going to like it. What do you guys think? Do you like how it looks? So just imagine this. Let's just kind of talk this out. When I do have the printable for you, it'll have like a title piece. It's going to have all the fun little embellishments, things like that. So imagine if our title piece is here in the middle. All right. Imagine if our title piece is here in the middle and all the way around our photos. Okay. All the way around our photos, our title piece is in the middle. Just imagine how adorably cute that's going to be. Now, I'm going to encourage you also in the Page Builders Clubhouse to get a little more creative with the sizes of pictures that we're printing. I love to print my photos at home on uh, my Canon selfie, S-E-L-P-H-Y, selfie. I've gotten to where I don't print as much... Uh, ahead of time anymore. I kind of print the photos of, as I'm doing the layouts. And uh, I have a really awesome, a couple of really awesome apps on my phone that I love to use that I share with our, my Page Builders Clubhouse members. One of them is on sizing your photos down. So we can literally size our photos down to the exact size that we need and be able to save them and print them out. Um, another one is a collage app that I love to use that I love for creating collages when I'm printing out photo collages. So it really is such a great, great, um, it's a great community. It's a great online community. We are all proud memory keepers, like my shirt says. We all are, um, <laughs> what should I say, obsessed photo photo takers. <laughs> we love to take pictures, um, but we love to also, you know, well, let me just say this, okay? I'm going to give you a little tough love here, all right? Sometimes we need to hear tough love in this group. You guys, we don't have to scrapbook every photo we ever take. We don't. We don't. And this is something that I try to help you feel more comfortable with. Not all photos we ever take are really meant to be scrapbooked. We're going to scrapbook the ones that are the most special to us, the ones that we know people are going to want to see that when they start looking through these albums, um, you know, um, the ones that really kind of help us to tell the story that bring us back to the memories, right? So a lot of what you're going to learn in there is, is going to help you make the layouts with ease because you're going to have a page builder guide. You don't have to sit there and suffer with blank page syndrome. And it's a real thing. 
<laughs> if you're a scrapbooker, you know it's a real thing. You have all your papers, you have all your photos, and you just sit there and you stare at it because you just don't know how to get started. Or maybe you've been scrapbooking for a long time and you feel like you're kind of in a creative rut. Like, I just feel like I'm, I'm doing the same kind of layout over and over and over again. Well, let us inspire you to do something different. Come to the Page Builders Clubhouse. We have um, the other thing that we have in there you're going to have access to is some organizational tips, trainings, videos. <laughs> Because we know sometimes the overwhelm comes from our sash. And if we have it in a more organized way, if we have it in a way where things are very you know, easy for us to find, we're going to have the time when we actually do have the time to scrapbook, we actually can be scrapbooking, not searching for things all the time. OK, so, yeah, it's going to be it, it really is such a great, great support, <laughs> support group for those of us that are proud memory keepers that want to continue scrapbooking. And it's I just try to make it simple and fun for you again. Right. That's been our, my goal from day one. Page Builders Clubhouse, you guys, is five years old. We turned five years old um, this year. We would love for you to come over and join us. Maybe you've never done anything like this before and you want to start well come on we're here to help you we're going to help you get started we would love that all right so i hope you enjoyed the paper quilted layout it's going to turn out so cute this is just the start when we meet again which is tomorrow 2 p.m central <laughs> We're going to make the companion light. You're going to see me make the companion layout and use the printable. So you're going to see the whole thing come to life. Um, and I encourage you to come back and watch. If you can't watch at that time, remember, replays will always be available over in the Create and Connect Facebook group. Okay. All right. Well, who feels like getting a prize? <laughs> who would like to win a prize? This actually went together faster than I thought. Yes, Karen, you're definitely excited to watch tomorrow. That's awesome, Karen. Thank you for saying that. All right. Well, we're going to do a drawing for, we're going to pick two winners for a prize. And I'm sending you three colors of chalk ink. Aren't these pretty? Um, one of the colors I'm sending you is the chocolate malt that I used. It's my, it's, I just like my go-to brown right now. I love that color. And then we're also sending you a bottle of stickles, which is what you can use to make things sparkle. Okay. So let's see who's going to win these prizes. I've got to share my screen. So give me just a second here. All right, here we go. Let's see who our first winner is going to be. <laughs> Teresa Klein. Congratulations, Teresa. You have just won three beautiful chalk inks and a bottle of stickles. Congratulations to Teresa. That's awesome. And let's draw again for our second winner. Diane Willardson. Congratulations to Diane. You have also won three talkings and a bottle of stickles. That is so excited. You guys give it up for these two winners. I'm so excited for you, Teresa and Diane. Um, congratulations and thank you so much for watching session number four of Create and Connect today. So, Here's what I need you to do to claim your prize. All you have to do is email us at info at MissTracyCreates.com, info at MissTracyCreates.com, and um, make sure that we have the mailing address wherever you want us to ship these prizes to, and we will get those out today for you, okay? So thank you again for watching. And yes, if you're interested at all in memory keeping, scrapbooking, come join us in the Page Builders Clubhouse. It's a perfect time to join. The doors are open right now during the Create and Connect, Connect um, uh, premiere week. Also, we're going to have um, a fun little welcome prize bundle for you um, for signing up that we're going to send that out. And um, 
you'll have access to our private Facebook group all of the fun that happens there. We just have a great time in that group. One thing I forgot to tell you is I do go live in that group on Monday nights at 6 p.m. Central. And again, they're always saved, everything, any videos, lives, tutorials, techniques, all the things, workshops, everything is saved for you there in our private group. And you can watch the replays whenever it's convenient for you. Okay. <laughs> Phyllis says she can't wait to do the pages. That is awesome, Phyllis. I'm so, that just makes me so happy. Yes, this is going to be an amazing layout. So I can't wait to continue it on with you. All right. Yes. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. I love working with paper and mixing patterns and all the fun things. And we haven't really done a quilted paper layout in a while. So I felt like it was a good time for us to do this. Okay. All right. So here's what's going to happen next. I'm going to take a little break and I will be back at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Central. I'm super excited. I know I keep saying that, but you guys, I just love Create and Connect. I love that we get to connect. I love that I get to share my inspiration with you. So if you're inclined to come back, pop back in at 2 p.m. either here on my page at Miss Tracy Creates or in the uh, Create and Connect Facebook group. And I have another session, session number five. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to register. Want to make sure you're in, enlisted for our grand prize drawing. And I will see you guys at two o'clock. Bye, everyone. <laughs>